Hello, my most amazing artists. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a symmetrical butterfly or bug on your paper. So, symmetrical means that something is the same on both sides if you draw a line down the middle. So, my hand is not symmetrical because it's not the same on both sides. However, if I took this little mannequin guy and I drew a line down his middle, he has an arm on each side, a leg on each side, his body is symmetrical. So when something is symmetrical, it's the same on both sides. So to get started, you are gonna take your paper and you are gonna fold it in half. It really doesn't matter which way you fold it, but it needs to be in half and you need to even up the edges. I like to fold it this way because it gives me more room for my butterfly, but I'll show you another way in a minute. So now we are not drawing on one side of the paper. We are only drawing on the right side. So you just put your hand, if you're left-handed, then you can draw on this side. But, so I'm gonna start with the body. I'm not drawing a whole body. I'm only drawing half. I'm gonna draw one antenna because I only wanna draw half of what I'm gonna be drawing today. So a butterfly would have, let's see, I think I'm gonna do the its wing kinda of like this, okay? So I have half a body, I have one side of its wing, I have the antenna, but this side is missing, it's absent. You should not have anything on this side. Now what I wanna do is I wanna decorate the wing and decide how I'm gonna draw it. So I can do any kind of designs I want, but I'm gonna draw my designs. And then I will do the part that is gonna be the magic trick and make this symmetrical give this butterfly a few more little eyes. Okay, so when I have the designs on the wing like I like, only half the butterfly is drawn, that is so key. Do not draw both sides. But once this half is drawn, I'm gonna fold my paper back over and I'm gonna take my scissors. I'm gonna use them in an unconventional way. So I'm gonna hold the blade and I'm gonna use this part, the handle, and I am going to rub all over the paper. Give it a really good rub everywhere. Now look, if I open this up, I can start to see the other side, but I have not rubbed this well enough. So I'm gonna go back and make sure that I rub right on top of all those lines. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but I can see through my paper to the lines that I drew. So I'm gonna really be sure I'm pressing down hard and I'm going to press down and rub over all of that. Then when I open it, there you have it. So now you'll take this and you'll trace your lines and this side will be the exact same as this side and it's symmetrical. All right, I'm not going to trace these on camera, but I do want to show you how to do a bug. So let's say that I wanted to fold my paper this way for my bug. Same thing. Put your hand on one side and don't use it. So let's see, I'm going to do like a little head for my bug. And I'm going to do a body. And then bugs have six legs. So if I'm just drawing half the bug... I'm only drawing three legs. Okay, I could draw like an eye. Let's see. And then just give your bug some designs. Even though bugs may not have these designs, just give it some designs to make it unique. Trace the other side, and then you'll have a symmetrical bug. Now, I'll give you a baby wipe for your fingers, and the key is to draw big and then trace. That's all you have to get done today. Next week, we will paint. Have fun.